system. Water activated. He minus 10, 9, 8. Go for maintenance to start. 7, 6, and in ignition. 4, 3, 2, 1. So, and lift off of Spindle Atlantis as Columbus sets sail on a board of science to the space station. Seconds into the flight, three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72 percent rate performance, opening in the bucket, reducing the stress as it breaks the descent barrier. Atlantis, three miles in altitude, seven miles down range. 50 seconds of the flight, and beginning to throttle back up, standing by for that call, Captain Jim Dutton. Hello again, I'm Rod Kowicki, author of The Supertelic Electromagnetic Gravitational Universe Technology Theory, 500 pages on how and why we can travel faster than the speed of light. Uh, this is my, uh, I think, 11th uh, video on uh, YouTube and uh, advertising my book. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about Einstein's theory of relativity and the possibility of traveling faster than the speed of light. Einstein's theory on relativity talks about how fast one can travel in, in space or anywhere. Einstein has limited this called the universal constant at the speed of light. Now, that means that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. Well, then you might ask, well, wh why do you have a book out saying you can travel faster than the speed of light? Well, the answer is easy. It's true. My figures are true. To any event, mine is the first book ever to be published to show how and why fastest light space travel is possible. Uh, if you are a subscriber and have read my videos, uh, I guess you're wondering, well, when's he going to tell me about uh, how this is possible? Well. I'm going to it today. I'm going to try to answer that question. Anyways, I have made a diagram to show what's happening here. Uh, we have Einstein's theory here. And up here. And my theory 
down here. And the, in the middle, we have some equations. Okay. Try to get it all over here without it's kind of crooked, but let me see, maybe I uncrooked it. There we go. Okay, we have over here gravity, right? Gravity, gravity, all the way over here. It says gravity. That's Einstein's stuff. He wants to talk about gravity. And let me try to get this right. Anyways, we got Einstein over here, and we got me down here. What we're talking about is here, Earth. Earth, at itself, its density is 10 plus 33 centimeters squared. Uh, that means that anything having mass sitting here is sitting stationary at this density in space. I mean, in Earth's atmosphere. That's it. Okay. If that if that object having mass accelerated to the speed of light, which is over here, speed of light. That's as fast as it can go. This is shown by Einstein. This is Einstein's theory on gravity. Well, down here, my theory, which is quickie FTL, we take into consideration what Einstein said, that gravity squared, which is 10 plus 33 centimeters a square inch, you can travel at the speed of light. But now we have another problem. We have space. He said anywhere, anytime, any space. And history quotes us. But now we have a problem. We have a, what's called a vacuum. The vacuum over here is 10 minus 33 centimeters per square inch, which is twice as less as 10 plus 33 uh, minus, uh, plus 33 centimeters is the square inch which is Earth's atmosphere so we have a, a division right here from a vacuum state zero point en energy to the state of traveling at the speed of light as Einstein predicted up here but what, what we also have is, is the increase availability between Einstein's theory and my theory. Einstein's theory under my FTL theory is 10 plus 33. That's what we see up here. And that's traveling at the speed of light. Well, in my theory, since the vacuum is 10 to minus 33, traveling to the speed of light here, which is 10 plus 33, as Einstein shown, traveling at the speed of light, we have twice the distance in the same frame. I mean the frame's different, but from with Einstein's theory up here, squared, Earth's, Earth's gravity squared, you come straight down and you can travel at the speed of light because of the vacuum and with which the vacuum is calibrated to mid the to uh, to uh, meet with the speed of light constant, we're able to travel what? 10 minus 33 in the vacuum to zero point energy with the density field now equal with Earth's being able to travel at the speed of light in interstellar space though. So what do we have? We have a theory that travels twice the speed of light. Uh, you ask, how is this possible? Einstein's not wrong. Well, Einstein, Einstein did not take this into consideration. Einstein believed that, see, very little was known at that time about uh, interstellar space or empty space. Even though he claims it's empty, he says it's filled up with what? Gravity. Or 
the dimensions of gravity and how gravity works. The more you read, the more you find out what he's talking about. Uh, 